Hey, 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 what is up, Success Nation? It's your boy, Maher Abid here, back with you again for another spectacular video. And in today's episode, I wanna talk to you about the secret to ranking in Google search. But before we get started, if this is your first time to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell beside that because I am dropping pure value content for you guys on business, marketing, and entrepreneurship every single day. So let's get started. So it doesn't matter if you're running a service-based business or a product-based business, such as an e-commerce store, everybody wants to know the million dollar question. How can you rank higher in Google search? As I mentioned in a previous video, ranking organically for your you know, keywords is super important because it will give you the benefit down the road that you've uh, you know worked so hard right now to implement. So before I talk to you about Google, let me give you an, a perfect example of where the logic with you know search engines obviously comes from. So think about YouTube right now, their metric, their you know main metric to rank videos and to see what type of engagement there is on videos is watch time. Before it used to be views, now it's watch time. Watch time is very important because obviously if somebody's watching more of the video, that means it's more engaging, it's more value. So remember at the end of the day, search engines are a computer. The way they understand which you know video uh, in the previous example or a website is you know, more valuable is through votes. And those votes come from engagement and human uh, metrics that, uh, you know, human visitors are obviously performing. So when I talk about engagement, you guys really have to start paying attention to writing for humans, the content on your sales pages, as well as your blog content. Everybody wants to always focus on writing for the machines, but at the end of the day, Google's even said that themselves when they were talking about the rank brain update that, you know, you need to actually write in natural language so the algorithm can understand what is happening on the page. So let's go through a few things to obviously, you know, which can help you with your engagement. Number one is, are you keeping people on your website longer? So, you know, for example, when you're talking, oh, I'm talking about a website, I was just mentioning YouTube and the watch time. Well, let's now translate that to an actual website. Let's take that off YouTube and talk about a website that's found organically on Google. When somebody comes to your website, are they coming and leaving right away? All right, so let me lay down the things that you really need to start focusing on to start providing more value to your visitors and to your audience. So in order to increase your engagement rate. So the first thing you guys can do is create an environment where people are actually staying on your site longer. When somebody comes, are they actually spending a lot of time on your site? What is it that you can do to give people value that they want to stay on your site? For example, you can embed a YouTube video so they can you know, watch the video on your site and increase the time on site. You can obviously uh, create ways that they can read a blog post, get some value out of it, and through you know some plugins, uh, WordPress plugins, you can obviously you know, push another article to them so that they can continue reading more content on your website. They can keep, uh, you know, being engaged. So it increases that time of site metric. The other thing that you want to pay attention to is obviously the bounce rate. You want to keep that, uh, you know, close as close to 50% as possible because uh, most sites rank around the, you know, big sites rank around that 50% mark. So what you want to do is you want to be able to, you know, watch you know, people coming in through, you know, tools that I've mentioned before, such as mouse flow to see if, you know, are people coming, what are they doing and what is causing them to leave right away? Because that will, uh, you know, have a negative impact on your, you know, search engine visibility. So using tools such as mouse flow will allow you to see exactly where people are having problems with things they don't like, which is causing them to leave. From there, this point relates to, are you giving them value? If, if you're pushing a sales message down people's throats that they don't want or don't expect, for example, then that can be intrusive and that can force people to leave. But if you're providing that value and you're providing what I've mentioned before as well, providing free value, then the, you know people are more incentivized to come stay and stay longer and do more on your website. So another tip you can implement right away is to have social sharing buttons on your content. And for example, if somebody reads a blog post, make it easy for them to share on Facebook, Twitter, or uh, Pinterest, for example. And then from there, what that'll do is spread your content to more places to get more people to come back to your website. Now, the other main thing is obviously with uh, SEO rankings, a lot of it and most of it is comes down to the backlinks. So what you want to do is you want to really utilize content marketing. At the end of the day, you're trying to, uh, if you are, you know, an agency, 
okay? Or if you are a, a business owner and you have somebody on staff uh, doing your you know, SEO backlink building. There's a certain point where you can only build so many uh, backlinks, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a sort of a ceiling that you can reach, whether it's, you know, your social media profile assets, uh, website directories, if you're a local business, there's only so many links that you can build. To add to this, of course, you can uh, really utilize a guest posting, which I've talked about and I'll link to in another video. So here's the key and the magic formula, uh, which all comes together. The key is that you wanna create an environment where people want to link to you. So this is why content marketing is so very important to create high value pieces of content that people actually want to share, people actually want to link to. Because at the end of the day, you can't, like I just mentioned, create, you know, thousands of links. So you need obviously external sources to be able to link to you, but they're not gonna link to you for no reason. And they're not obviously gonna link to your sales page. So in order to get as many backlinks as possible, especially in competitive niches, you wanna be able to use obviously the rest of the world, other sites to be able to link to you by providing high value content, something that is worthy of getting a backlink for. Honestly, folks, SEO is not too difficult. I mean, it's it's uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of you know things that you can look at technically from you know uh, anchor text to interlinking and whatnot. But at the end of the day, the search engines want to provide the best value, the most relevant information to somebody searching. So if you're able to do that and you're able to service the human. Okay, the machine, the, the Google machine will reward you for that. So you gotta make sure you have your priorities in order. If you're going to do SEO, uh, you know, to try to, uh, you know, trick Google to rank you higher, you're only gonna get so far. But if you're genuinely putting out value, if you're genuinely, genuinely trying to help people, if you're genuinely trying to make your website the best place and the most informative place, no matter what your industry is, that people can come, gain information, gain free information, of course, as well, then you'll be rewarded for that. People will wanna share that, people will wanna to link to that, and you know your, your, your rankings will go up for the money terms that are actually making you money at the end of the day. So the secret to ranking higher in Google search is really to provide the best value that you can on your website, to, to give the searcher exactly the information that they're looking for, which will increase the engagement on your website. From there, your website will start ranking for more keywords and start uh, snowballing the amount of traffic that it's getting because you're actually providing value to the humans. I mean, it's no surprise Google's shown us uh, this many, many different times in many of their different products. One, obviously, I said at the beginning of the video with YouTube, but even look at Google AdWords. One of their you know, criteria in AdRank, their scoring mechanism to obviously rank ads on where they're gonna be positioned with uh, pay-per-click is even the, you know, the landing page experience. If somebody comes to your website uh, looking for dog collars, uh, yet they're look, you know, they end up uh, on a page uh, you know, with uh, cat scarves, then obviously the user experience is not there. They're gonna bounce and leave and that's gonna actually negatively affect you. So at the end of the day, Google is a business and they wanna provide the best value for their users so they can continue to use their products. So it's your job to create that environment where you're providing the best user experience possible and then like I said, Google's gonna reward you for that. So if you got any value out of today's video, like the video and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you share it with somebody that could also benefit from this video and content as well. And of course, subscribe to the Success Nation and hit the notification bell as I'm dropping pure value content every single day on business, marketing, and entrepreneurship because I wanna better your business so you can have a better life to support your family, uh, your friends, and your community so you can be the best you can be and the greatest success that you can be as well. Once again, my name is Matt. Maher Abyad. Thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of your journey and I will catch you in the next video. <laughs>